Welcome to BJJ Boost episode 7. All right. This episode is going to be a little bit shorter and I want to go over a couple different things. One is an eight point day inside of the app and kind of what that looks like. And then number two is we've just officially launched our first uh, mastery workshop. And uh, I'm going to start launching more of these mastery workshops. And the, and the goal is going to be that we focus on a specific area like arm bars or in this case, this one is head and arm chokes. It will be basically head and arm chokes from all different areas and, and drilling a lot of reps and making sure that we really master the head and arm choke. But like same with the arm bars, same with triangles, same with escaping guard passing. So we're going to have a lot of these mastery camps. And right now, they're going to be held in Effingham, Illinois. So as the app grows and as as the community grows in BJJ Boost, we will, of course, expand beyond just being in Effingham, Illinois. But right now, I want to find a way to kind of offer people more than just your regular seminars and, and you show up and you know you don't feel like you're really part of something you you pay this price and you watch the instructor teach some techniques and then and then you're done with your day so to me the big thing with BJJ boost is that it's it's about expanding your jiu-jitsu and it's it's about expanding your life and 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 getting beyond just the idea of existing and doing the same motions so one thing I'm trying to do in my academy is get my students to kind of like open up more and communicate what they're looking for, what they want out of their jiu-jitsu. But I'm also trying to like dive a little bit more into their lives. And, uh, you know, because people talk about jiu-jitsu saves lives. Pe- people talk about jiu-jitsu um, being this art that is greater than and than just the, the self-defense or the sports side of it, right? how jiu-jitsu saved their lives. We see that all the time. And yet, I don't see a lot of people actually in the community taking action into trying to get their life to the next level, right? I see a lot of people show up in the mats and I see a lot of people exist and say, yeah, whatever, I need to work on all these different things. But what I don't see is a lot of people saying, hey, you know, I'm struggling right now at home right? Like I'm struggling in my relationship. I'm struggling with my kids. I'm struggling with my significant other. I don't know what to do. My world is falling apart. And, uh, and I'm showing up to jujitsu because it's my only outlet right now. Because here's the thing, okay? If you're running away from all of your problems and you're running away from facing what you need to face to help get your life to the next level, Jiu-jitsu is not saving your life. Jiu-jitsu is just the area that you're hiding in before your life falls apart, okay? And that's the whole point of this app. This is the whole point of this process of BJJ Boost is that we stop hiding and we start owning our truth. And uh, the, the process inside this app has helped me tremendously to stop hiding and start owning my truth. Actually, like, start showing up on the mats and being more intentional, and, uh, I, you know, I've seen a lot of success and I've seen a lot of results. It's not going to be perfect. Life's never going to be perfect. I still have a lot of failures. This past weekend, you know, we went to Texas and uh, it was one of the worst trips that I've had in a long time. But it didn't hurt. Like maybe back in the day that would have hurt me and it would have like put me into a funk and I would have been somewhat depressed or whatever the case is. But... I still drove home and I returned right to the mats and I started to get back to exactly what I need to get back to and start doing my daily habits. Um, And I'm not looking at life as like the winning or losing side of it anymore. I'm not looking at life as like I I need to have this or I need to do this or I'm not going to be happy. You know, like I'm trying to find ways that I can add substance in my life by creating these daily tasks. And as I hit those daily tasks, 
as, as exhausting as it might be someday, like it might feel overwhelming, but at the end of the day, every time that I put all these little things into my, into the app, it's like, I'm glad I did it. I see the value and how that helped me possibly in my relationship as, as a significant other, as a parent, or even with the people on the mats, you know, like I'm trying to genuinely connect with people more and I'm genuinely trying to actually seek my game more and be more present. So the, it's it's really important that you don't just download the app and do the motions and exist in the same frame. I have a lot of people that have downloaded the app and signed up to the app and I'm not seeing any activity whatsoever. You know, like any activity. You can't tell me that you can't find five minutes in a day to hit one of these daily tasks and to, to genuinely put a little bit of effort into it, like one of them. So I want you to think about trying to hold yourself accountable and trying to live within a simple code, which is be honest with yourself. Are you existing and doing the same shit and being the same person on and off the mats? Or are you going to surrender to the current state of mind that you're living and start to just take a one step forward, right? Like I hear a lot of people, they're like, well, unless the situation's perfect, you know, unless A, B, and C line up, I have no desire to change who I am. And what you don't realize is if you're not willing to change your mind and, and reframe the way that you're living, you're going to be living the same way in another year, five years, or 10 years. Nothing's going to change. Okay, You're not going to win the lottery. You're not going to hit some big promotion. You're not going to have some type of breakthrough success. You're not going to be a world champion. Okay, I hate to tell you this, but if you're not willing to actually show up and put the work in on one daily task, okay, how in the world are you going to get your life to the next level? How are you going to get your game to the next level? Okay, I'm telling you this because I existed in the same frame, okay? I existed doing the same things. And yes, I had success in jiu-jitsu, but the success came at the cost of my family. The success came at the cost of a lot of other factors in my life because all I did was pour into jiu-jitsu and I ran away from everything else. So at the end of that road, no matter how many titles that I accomplished, my family was falling apart. My life was falling apart. My mind was in chaos and it was sitting here doing and thinking in ways that didn't actually help put my life on fire to get it to the next level. So when I'm telling you these things, I'm telling you them because I've lived them and I've existed in them. And it wasn't until I started realizing that my life isn't going to get to the next level. My family's not going to get to the next level. Whatever it is you're trying to get to the next level isn't going to happen until you start creating different daily habits that allow those things to start moving forward, okay? So I wanna dive in really quick to this, uh, let's see, we're gonna dive, switch over, and then we'll dive, just right now we have this BJJ Boost Head and Arm Mastery Workshop, okay? This is the first time that we've ever done this. Everyone who attends is gonna get a free BJJ Boost Rash Guard. The event is October 22nd. It's going to cost $149. It's limited to 20 spots. There's the address. It's going to be from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., okay? And if you if you do want to sign up, just message us, and we will send you a link to make sure that you're able to, to reserve that spot. But once the 20 spots are reserved, that's it. Like, we're not going to go to any other spots. Um it's, it's the reason I want to do 20 spots is because 20 people I can focus on, you know, it's 10 groups, 10 groups of people. Um, and I really want this to be, a, I want these workshops 
to be something that you're showing up and you're being intentional with and you're actually looking to gain a couple different things that you can apply to your game. But I also want to be able to have the ability to connect with each person and kind of dive into where they're at in their life, where they're at in their jiu-jitsu and realize that if we're going to actually have jiu-jitsu change lives and we're going to actually have the ability to expand ourselves, right, that we're going to have to do things differently. We can't continue to do the same things and expect different results. So these camps, I want them to be like mastery workshop camps where people are coming in and they're gonna put a lot of time drilling these techniques and really figuring out how to apply them to their game. But then also, I want them to start thinking about how they can own some truth inside their life that they can they can kind of like peel back that band-aid or, or, uh, you know, own the reality of what they're doing and start to change it. And then I want to hear those success stories, right? Like I, just this year, I've been getting so many different random people messaging me saying, hey, you know, this changed my, my thought process or this changed the way I looked at things or I'm really glad that you started owning the truth of where you were at, you know? So I want to see other people make the decision to kind of like rise from where they're existing currently in their life and own their truth, okay? And if you're going through the motions and you're you're just kind of like waking up and going to work and coming home and then playing some video games and then going to jiu-jitsu and, and just being present there on the mats and then coming home and then like going to bed and you're wondering why things are struggling and why things are failing, I can tell you right now that as soon as you start pivoting and reframing your mind and changing the direction, okay, it's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be something that happens overnight. I'm 10 months in on this journey, 11 months in on this journey, and it's still a daily battle sometimes to continue to figure out the right move to make so that I'm expanding every area of my life. But you have to start, right? Just like that person that has to start working out, just like that person that starts jujitsu, okay? The first step is the hardest step to make. But once you start getting that momentum going behind you, it's a snowball effect. Like you're going to have success. Doesn't mean that every day is going to be perfect. It doesn't mean that every day is going to be the most joyous day in the world. I still have so many days of frustration, but but it's easier to get through those days now because my mind is aligned with what my reality is, okay? Before I used to hide inside my mind to escape the reality of what my life was. Now I, I've accepted the truth of my life, which is, the reality that I basically was existing and that I was lying and that I was my my thoughts weren't in line with my reality and what I was doing as a person. And when I own that, I could start showing up in a new way. I could start showing up uh, in my relationship. I could start showing up as a father. I could start showing up for my students. I could start showing up in my actual jiu-jitsu because I actually took a genuine interest in it and I didn't just do the motions anymore. So these camps are designed for you to get your game to the next level. And in that process, I hope that you can apply that idea and that concept to being a father or being a mother or being a significant other, right? It's like once I learned how to surrender and not carry this like ego and pride and think that I have to like be a man or whatever the terminology we want to use and I could I could surrender that concept and I could let go of whatever it is that I was holding on to that had no value that wasn't benefiting my life whatsoever and then I could actually like get to the truth I could be like this is what it all is okay this is where I'm at this is what I'm doing this is where I'm failing I have to stop this bullshit right now And then I could actually start to show up and start to begin to apply things to my game. I could start to actually like listen to Mandy. I could actually start to like listen to my daughter instead of just being glued to my phone or playing video games. 
And that's where like the major shift in my life started to actually happen. And I started to, I started to have more fulfillment and joy in a day than just waiting for the next big high of winning a major tournament or, or whatever it is that I was waiting to happen so that I could feel successful. Right? I started finding more joy in my daily routines instead of just the, well, in three months, this is what I need to accomplish so I feel like I'm something important. Okay, so what does an eight-point day look like? It's really simple. The way that I've been doing my eight-point days now is I've been taking a picture, right, of each, like, step that I do along the way. So when I drink my daily greens, I, I take a picture of whatever the shaker cup was, put my daily greens in it, and then as I'm drinking it, I just take a screenshot of that. And then once my daily greens are done, that's great. The picture's in my phone. Then I go and do my daily journal, right? So a lot of my journaling is life journals. And it's up to you what you want to do. Like if you want to do life journals or if you want to do the jiu-jitsu journals. But I recommend doing the journaling process. It is a huge benefit when you actually start. Like if you're going to live by the code inside this app, which is to be truthful, and to be honest with where you're at in every area of your life, not just jiu-jitsu, but every area, where you're at as a man, where you're at or as a woman, where you're at as um, a partner, where you're at as a family person, where you're at as a practitioner, where you're at in your job, okay? If, if you're going to actually get your life to the next level, you have to stop lying to yourself and you have to stop existing. And when you stop those two things, you're gonna need a process to actually start being truthful. And that's where the journals come in play. That's where you can be the most brutal, brutally honest with yourself as possible, okay? I am being a piece of shit significant other. I am not showing up in my family. I'm existing, okay? Think about how much effort you put into your hobbies, okay? Like, really think about it. Think about how much effort you put into, like, let's say, jiu-jitsu or a video game or whatever it is, and then look at it on the other end and ask yourself, are you putting the same effort into your family? Are you putting the same effort into your job? So is jiu-jitsu saving your life or is jiu-jitsu allowing you to hide from your life? Because that's the real question that if you get truthful with, that's what the app is designed to do. That's what this process is designed to do, is for us to become brutally honest with ourselves. And when we do that, we can begin to actually expand our lives and we can start to build the foundation the correct way instead of hide, okay? So the journaling process is very crucial that you take it serious and that you're honest with yourself, okay? So you've got your daily fuel, which took no time. You took a picture of you drinking your greens, which is gonna help boost your immunity. It's gonna help cleanse your system. It's gonna help give you more energy. It's something you should do every day. It's very simple. Uh, you're going to do your journaling. It took me eight minutes to do my journal today. Eight minutes. Eight minutes for me to seek. I did an appreciation journal. It took me eight minutes to seek appreciation for all the things that exist in my life. The daily tasks, the habits, my relationship with Mandy, my relationship with God, my relationship with Lucy, my relationship with my students. All those things, it took me eight minutes to be appreciative for and to do that journal. And my journal's not, art. sometimes I do journals that are sad journals, sometimes I do angry journals. Our emotions are all over the place as humans. So today was an appreciation journal, okay? Now, my drill tab for yesterday, okay? I drilled 100 triangles and I did 100 uh, push-ups. That was the, that was on top of whatever else you're doing, right? Like you have two levels of your life. You have the level that you're existing at, doing the motions every day, and then you have the level that you wanna to get to the next level, okay? So look at these things really closely because this is how you're gonna be able to determine how to get your life to the next level, okay? The motions that you do every day, you wake up, you brush your teeth, you whatever, you, you tell your kids you love them, you tell your significant other you love them, you go to work, you come home, okay? Those daily motion, uh, those daily things that you do don't matter. I mean, 
they're not they're it's you on autopilot running this certain course in your life and it's going to continue to run that course for 5 10 15 20 years and you're going to be the same person the things that really matter are the things that you're going to identify and start to do daily okay so like I added 100 extra push-ups every day on top of all the other things that I do, whether it's training or working out or whatever the, the, the case be. And I added the 100 triangles on top of my drilling, on top of all the other drilling that I'm already doing or all the other live rolling that I'm always already doing. It's, it's going out of your way and achieving that little extra that's going to level up your life, okay? Just like um, I added 100 bench presses, 100 leg lifts, and 10 minutes on the Bow, bow Max machine or whatever it is. Um, I added that today as my daily routine, and now I'm going to continue to do that. Um, that's how you level your life up. When you keep taking where your autopilot level is and where your conscious level is, and you combine those two together, and with that, that's when you're going to actually see the growth in your life, Okay. So for the drill tab, I did 100 triangles and I did 100 push-ups on top of all the other things that I did that day. The live rolling tab, I did six five-minute rounds of live rolling and I tracked that. My goal for this month is 60 five-minute rounds, okay? I've been doing my others. My other uh, monthly goal has been higher rounds, but the, the time limit has been different. It's been like three minutes, two minutes five minutes this month is going to be 65 minute rounds is my goal okay so every day that i get to live roll i don't get to drill and i don't get to live roll every day but when i do i make sure that i use the app to try to take a picture and track those stats so now we have the drill we have the battle we have the fuel and we have um, the focus tab which is doing our journal okay the recovery tab is really simple i mean you don't have like you don't have to put immense amounts of pressure on yourself when you start doing these little daily tasks, right? Like five minutes using a Theragun, five minutes stretching and tracking that is is good enough to get your daily point and start that process. The, the factor here again is when you hit that area, right, where it's like I'm on autopilot now, I'm doing the Theragun every day for five minutes, your brain has to kick in again and say, look, you're on autopilot down here. What's the next step to get your life to the next level? This is how it works. Autopilot, next step. Autopilot, next step. And when you do that, then you're going to start really starting to compound the success that you have in your life. So like, let's think about it like this. Okay. Every day I'm hitting a five minute ice bath, I'm hitting a 15 minute hot tub, I'm typically doing eight minutes of stretching, I'm typically doing like five to 10 minutes of Theragun or like this low back machine. And some of those things are starting to kind of exist. So I'm going to have to, again, look at, am I running on autopilot? What's the next level, okay? And this might seem exhausting and it should a little bit, okay? If you're existing in the same frame and never getting tired, that's a problem, okay? If you're doing the same motions every day in your life and not getting tired mentally or physically and you think that's okay, that's where you're having your issue. That's where your life is falling apart. That's where the chaos is coming from, okay? So the recovery tab, really simple, all right? The next tab we have is uh, we have choosing one person a day. That takes me five minutes max a day to think about one person in my life to choose and show appreciation towards. We went over this in previous episodes, and it's it's not a hard task to do. Okay, it, it's gonna give you amazing benefits for yourself, but also for those in your life that you truly care about. So I don't understand that at all every person in the app should be choosing one person a day i mean if you have to find an excuse that you can't do that every day where you can't spend three minutes sending a message to somebody and showing gratitude towards and spending one minute tracking that and you think your life is going to get to the next level it's not going to happen okay 
The next session, the next tab is meditation, okay? You have to get to a place where you can shut your brain off and turn off all the noise, okay? I have ADHD and never in my life did I actually think that I would be able to meditate. But the the one thing that I can say this year that has been super beneficial is the ability to turn all the noise off in my mind and around me, okay? To put on put on some music, right? You can go to YouTube and you can get some type of meditation session. You can get a guided one, you can get a non-guided one, however you want to do it, but to like take your take your brain and shut it off from all the chaos and all the noise and it just for 15 to 30 minutes find a way to disconnect and surrender your non-stop brain you know the not the brain that never stops overthinking and running and creating and anxiety and depression and all the crazy noise inside of it right teach yourself to turn it off and be present okay and then when you're done with that meditation session, be honest with where you're at as a, as a person, okay? How can these daily tasks, okay, every one of them is overall very, very simple. They take me maybe an hour max total out of my time a day to figure out how to hit each one of them to get an eight-point day, okay? But I can tell you this, making excuses and existing for as long as I did, at the end of it, I was still the same person. It wasn't until I decided to make this change, until I shifted my perspective and reframed my mind and my world, that my entire life changed. And now people are messaging me daily and they're seeing the change and they're feeling the change and they're wanting to know what happened or how this took place, okay? And I'm telling you the formula right now, all right? You just have to decide if you want to listen or if you want to exist and be the same person, okay? So everyone watching this episode, I, I truly appreciate you being present in my life. You can send me a message any day and we can have a conversation, okay? But the truth is you need to download the app Okay, BJJ Boost on iOS and Google Play. You need to, to create a username and you need to dive into the app. You need to dive into the boot camp. You need to start holding yourself accountable and start expanding your jiu-jitsu and start expanding your life. Take accountability. It's okay to surrender and to let go and to start to rebuild because that's the most beautiful process of all. Okay. It's not about when you get to the top of the mountain. It's when you do the rebuilding stage that that I have truly found joy um, in, in seeking the daily tasks and expanding myself every day, okay? So thank you guys for watching episode seven. Stay tuned for episode eight. If you're on the app, I encourage you to book one-on-one -on -one calls. That way we can have these talks We've already done two of the talks, and they both went incredible. Um, we also have the BJJ Boost workshop coming up. You can send us a message if you want to sign up for that workshop. You will get a free rash guard. Everyone who participates in the workshop will have a free rash guard. We're all going to wear the rash guards together as we do the do the workshop. Every workshop that I wanted that I do, I want to be able to give something back instead of it just be like some type of seminar that you show up and you learn a couple techniques and you go home. The BJJ Boost is an app, but it's also a community of us, does, of us practitioners coming together and trying to own our truth and become better practitioners and better people in life in all areas, okay? That's the point of the app. That's the point of BJJ Boost, okay? So... Everybody have a great day and go out and actually be intentional and in showing up, showing up in your family, showing up to your job, showing up on the mats, okay? Be intentional. Do it for a year. Just do it for a month at least and see where it takes you, okay? And then send me a message and let's have a conversation about where your life's going now. Have a great day.